Hello, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I will show you how to make a design and PowerPoint to bring to a design space for a print and cut project on pages 11 by 17 inches. First thing we need to do is go to design. Go to slide size, page setup, custom, and we want 11 by 17 click OK then we have to remove everything on the page I'm gonna go to insert shapes square and draw a square change the height to 17 and the width to 11 you can align it to the middle go to format pane no fill let's go back to insert picture picture from file you have to choose a PNG go to insert here you can decide the size of your uh, little sticker you can make it as big as 17 by 11 or you can use little ones to make stickers so I'm gonna do three I'm gonna move it all the way to the top like so I'm gonna copy paste and I'm gonna align it paste and then I'm gonna align I can probably go a little bit smaller or a little bit bigger so that my um, design covers the whole page I'm gonna select all my three images copy paste and I'm gonna bring it to the bottom okay again paste paste and one last time paste I'm gonna select all my little stickers press shift on your keyboard and then click on everything except the square that we have on the back I'm gonna go to arrange and group we're gonna go to size and we're gonna make sure there's a check mark on lock aspect ratio now I'm gonna make them a little bit bigger but you still need room 
on either side. Like so. We're gonna select everything. We're gonna go to Align and Distribute, and I'm gonna go to Align Center. This is very important. I'm gonna go back, and I'm gonna group my stickers. Okay, now that it's one piece, you're gonna right click, save as picture, You're gonna give it a name. And save. It will save as a PNG. Now I'm gonna go and print out from Word. We're gonna go to File page setup we're gonna change it to 11 by 17 and all these have to be zero okay and I got my pin my printer. We're gonna go to layout, margins, and we're gonna change them all to zero. Okay. Insert your picture. and make sure it is 11 by 17, even. Let's go ahead and print it. Notice how we don't have that margin. If you are using something for sublimation, you need to mirror your work. To do so on Word, you need to picture, format, you go and rotate, and you have to flip your work. See how that changed? That's when you're using uh, something that's gotta be um, that has words or anything else and this one I don't really care because it doesn't look any different when I flip it but you can use this one to mirror your image I'm gonna go back there you go I'm gonna take this one to design space Upload, upload image, drag and drop, complex, take it to the canvas. Change to 11 by 17. I'm going to duplicate. I'm going to change this one 
to cut. I'm gonna go to contour. I'm gonna hide all except the first one. Then I'm gonna change it to draw. On this one, I'm gonna change it to cut, contour, and I'm gonna take off these first two ones. I'm gonna select them, align to center, and I'm gonna attach. Make it. You gotta use a 12 by 24 mat and then move your work all the way to the bottom. And I'm gonna get my mat and my tools ready. I'm gonna go ahead and load in my mat without anything. The marker is a water based, so when you're finished, you can wipe it off with a baby wipe. Now be ready to pause your machine. Okay? At this point, you're going to place your paper on the mat within those lines that we drew. Okay, and then you're going to place go on your machine. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.